exiled Chinese businessman Mao Skua scammed his followers out of more than 1 billion US dollars, 1.35 billion Singapore dollars, after Chinese authorities seized his property, a federal prosecutor said on May 24, a squash fraud trial began in New York. Assistant U.S. Attorney Michael Ferguson told jurors that Guo, who was a real estate developer in China and moved to New York, amassed an online following through videos criticizing the Chinese government. After authorities in China and Hong Kong seized his assets in response, were started pitching fraudulent investments to his followers, Ferguson said. Mao Guo ran a simple con on a grand scale. He lived a billionaire's lifestyle, using money he stole from people he tricked and cheated, Ferguson said. The Manhattan jury of 12 will weigh allegations that Guo used his prolific online presence and hundreds of thousands of followers to bring in funds he spent on himself and his family. Guo, who is known by several names including Guo Wan Gui, Mao Kwok and Ho Wan Kwok, has been jailed in Brooklyn since his March 2023 arrest. Guo's attorney Sabrina Shroff said in her opening statement that his businesses were legitimate and that his aim was to build a movement against the Chinese Communist Party. It was not a bet. It was not a scheme. It was not a con. It was none of those things, she said. Many of Guo's actions, such as owning multiple phones and bank accounts, were common-sense protections as the Chinese government continued to try to disrupt his work in the U.S., Shroff said. The defense lawyer also urged jurors not to judge Gui for the way he spent the huge fortune he had amassed through real estate. Starting in 2018, prosecutors say Gui touted financial opportunities in Mandarin language online videos. Offering investments in his media company, a purported cryptocurrency venture, and a farm loan program, as well as membership in what was built as an exclusive club offering concierge services. Prosecutors said Gua stole from the funds to buy a New Jersey mansion, a yacht, several luxury cars and other extravagances, including two thirty-six thousand US dollar mattresses. Gua faces 12 counts of fraud. Reketeering, conspiracy and money laundering. The trial before U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres could stretch into July. The Beijing critic has been a business associate of former U.S. President Donald Trump's one-time adviser Steve Bannon. It was on Guo's 37 million U.S. dollar yacht, the Lady May, where Bannon was arrested in 2020 in a separate fraud case. That case ended when Trump pardoned Bannon in the waning hours of his presidency. Bannon had pleaded not guilty. Gu left China in 2014 during an anti-corruption crackdown under President Xi Jinping. Officials there accused Gu of bribery, money laundering and other crimes, which he has denied. After moving to the US, Gu bought a home in the luxury Sherry Netherlands building on Manhattan's Fifth Avenue, and drew Arden fans through his criticism of China's government, including by accusing leaders of corruption. At Beijing's request, the Global Police Organization Interpol in April 2017 issued a red notice for Guo's arrest. Shroff said in court on May 24 that the notice was an attempt to silence Guo after he gave an interview with U.S. government-backed Voice of America.